All right, this is a <coughs> speech well, given by, excuse me, this is a speech given by the Lubavitcher Rebbe in 1950, no, 19, yeah, 19, that's right, 1957. Just seven, six years after he began to lead the Chabad movement. And the speech is about, uh, this portion, of course, of the speech is about the 24th day of the Hebrew month of Tevet. The Hebrew month of Tevet is this month, the month that we're in right now. And the 24th day is going to be this Tuesday, Monday night. And that was the date when, 210 years ago, as of now, the first Rebbe of Chabad, whose name was Rabbi Shner Zalman, he passed away. He also wrote a famous book, the Tanya, and that was the foundation book of the whole Chabad Hasidic movement, <clears throat> which the Chabad Hasidic movement is a, um, I want to call it a movement in Judaism to bring Mashiach. That's his whole purpose. And in order to bring Mashiach, so it prepares everybody for what's going to be when Mashiach comes, and everyone will know God. So the writings of the first Rebbe of Chabad are writings which are designed to <clears throat> um, to um, meet people up with God, introduce, introduce us to God. And even if you already have a little bit of an idea to introduce you to higher levels and greater levels and more encompassing levels of God, and to get excited about God, and to at least do and say and think uh, according to what according to God's directions. Huh? So that's the idea. And in order to do that, you use a lot of ideas of Kabbalah, because only Kabbalah talks about the spiritual aspects of God's creation. All the rest talks about the physical aspects of God's creation. So here we go. The 24th day of Tevet. Let's go. What's this? What's this? One minute, one minute, one minute. What's this? Jules, an inclusive school in Baltimore for children with special needs, is proud to team up with Yoni Z, whoever that is, to share an original song to champion the mission of inclusion. This song is dedicated to individuals with disabilities. Open the bills. Okay, good. Maybe we'll finish this class. Maybe we'll have a listen to it. Okay, let's finish the class. Uh, can I get back to this? Okay, here we go. <clears throat> okay, let's see. We can make this a little bit bigger here. How are we going to do this? We'll go like this. And we will go like this. And we'll go like this. Okay. <clears throat> Yes, Einer, Einer one. Yeah, well, Einer one. From the timing for the reasons of them, was a zayin da tzaddikim with their tzaddikim. But Sanyoni stalkers with the day that they pass away, is a yom simcha, a day of happiness. A, a tzaddik is a holy Jew, and there are people that devoted themselves to God in order to make this world a better place. When they pass away, it should be a sad day. He says, no, it's a happy day. One of the reasons that it's a happy day is because when a person passes away, from the day that he passes away, this is a sign that his purpose, why the soul came into the world, has been completed. The Kavana from Yeridus and Hashem, the reason why the soul comes into the body is dach, it is like to say, Yeridus Tzorach Aliyah, a descent in order to raise up. Right? Probably, if you're watching this uh, video, so probably you, you've come to the conclusion that people die. Not only that, the people die, everybody dies. Everybody only has a certain amount of time to live in this world. At first glance, it doesn't seem to make any sense. I mean, if everybody's going to die, so they go back to whatever is nothingness, to sleep, perchance to dream, to be or not to be, 
The soul goes back to whatever it was before it was born. So what's this whole interruption in the middle? Why don't they just leave the soul there wherever it was before it was born? And just leave it up there. What do you have to bring it down into the world for? So that it'll just die and go back there. It's just a big waste of time or waste of energy or waste of something. No, not only is it important the time when you're here, but also there's a whole book written about what to do when you're It's called the Torah. God gave the Torah to explain to everybody what to do when they're here and why God created the world, why there's a world. Why not just leave the souls up in, you know, soul world? Why bring them down here? So it says the purpose is that every soul has a certain job to do in this physical world. In the spiritual world, you don't have any job. You're just there, just created. But God doesn't want that. Don't ask me why God doesn't want that, because if, he, if, if God didn't want this job, so we wouldn't have been created. Which you can say, well, maybe that's better that we wouldn't have been created. And that question is also asked in the Talmud. And it says that maybe it is better that we shouldn't have been created. But the fact is we were created, and God knows what he's doing. And he put us into this world in order to, believe it or not, improve the world. And every person is given a certain amount of time in this world because this world is time and uh, space. That's what the world is, time and space and, and, and life. So here we are, we're in the world. So everybody has a certain amount of time to do what he's supposed to do in this world. The Kavana, when you read it, the purpose of the going down into this world is because it's a descent for the sake of an elevation. Durach der avoda, by means of the service of the soul, and learning Torah, and doing the commandments, talking about a Jew. It's designed that there is, when it, when it is below, here in this world, in the physical world, in the body, as kumtze tzutzu, it comes to a fil hecher madriga, to a much higher level, be the madriga than the level in Velcha, which it, the soul was, before, while it was above. So here we say, to when, when the soul does actually add something to the world, so that adds something to the soul as well. Before the soul came down, the mata below, the soul was, it says, hewn out. It was one part of God's holy throne. As it says by the soul, Tahora, he was pure. Before the soul comes into the body, it is called Tahora, pure. And even higher. These are Kabbalistic levels. Anyway, that's where the soul is. It's kumt nid. Nevertheless, it still does not come to the ilah, to the high level. Velcha zi bakumt, which it comes through service of God below. The aliyah, the elevation. Und the neshama in the soul. Vert oif getan is accomplished. Meshaz zi zi far endikt. And when does this ultimate completion of the soul come, which was accomplished by coming into the world? At the end of the trip, at the end, when the soul finishes, the gans of the whole service was the hat get the gedarft tan lamata. When he does the whole thing, then it's finished. Like anything else, right? you go to a movie, you go to a, a whatever it is, I'll read a book, something like that. When is the main thing? In the end, in the end, that's the grand finale. All of a sudden, everything sort of every gets thing put together and it makes sense. When the Reber, the therefore, Ver Gerechen, the Histalkos, therefore, the passing of, of a tzaddik is a happy day. Why is it a happy day? Vile because, vile because, tzaddikim haben doch zikr abketan, because tzaddikim, certainly they have completed, and for and and finished, zir gansa avoda, everything that was expected of them in the world, by God, to put the soul into the body, they did. Therefore, when they pass away, comes it to a hechter aliyah to a very high level. Okay, so that's in general. Unazoi, <clears throat> and similarly, v'yeder yor every year, chazutzik iber it goes repeats the zelbrin yon the same things the chazayin and gaven which were the elster mole the first time. Is yeder yor every single year the yor said the yor said from the tzaddik and yom simcha is the happy day. <clears throat> All right, so not just the, the when they pass. Okay, now if you are around when any great holy Jew passes away, you'll see nobody's happy. There's nobody dancing around happy. The reason, of course, is because even though that it's true that the soul gets a tremendous, tremendous elevation, but we're at a tremendous loss. The world is at a loss. The, these these people are holy and they're a big inspiration 
to others, and not only that, what they do in the world is also makes the world a better place when they're alive. When they pass away, they don't make any more new blessings and no more. <clears throat> so therefore, when the day they pass away is a very sad day. We're sort of speak, how uh, do you say, abandoned. Uh, we're abandoned. The world is a little less happy, a little less. But the years coming after that, we realize that in fact, that was the completion of the service of the tzaddik. It was a completion of the service. So that really is a very happy day. Listen, death is not a good thing in general. It's not a good thing. And going away from the world is not a good thing. And the big tzaddikim, they never really die. But to us, it seems that they do. So there, it's, a, it's a very, on that year when they pass away, so nobody's laughing and dancing. A simcha velcha kumt from a naya yor, naya zach. Okay, so, and every year, the day of a passing of a great tzaddik, of great holy righteous Jew that devoted his whole life just to making this world the way God wants it to be. That every year is repeated that same uh, revelation as the first year when he passed away. So like I said, the first year, maybe we weren't happy because we felt the loss. But the second year, we're a little clearer but we don't think about ourselves so much and we realize that it was really a tremendous benefit to the world that last day was the because everybody has to die anyway, right? So it's not that, well, you know, he shouldn't have died. <clears throat> okay, unfortunately that he did die one. Death is, like I say, a bad thing. And it, if Adam wouldn't have eaten from the tree, there wouldn't be any death. But the fact is everybody does die. So when the tzaddik does the, the ultimate, what he was supposed to do, so it comes out retroactively, we realize it was a good thing. So every year, we're happy on that day. A simcha, a joy, will come from a nayadzach, which comes from a new thing. Which never was, is feel greater is much greater via simcha than a joy from an inyan from a thing which comes from a thing versus showing a mol given which already was. as yeder mol that since every time when their inyan far far pasirt for every time the first time what was done. As a brink to air simcha, it's, it's happy. A new thing. When a new thing happens, that's a happy thing. Right? It's a new, you see. Vibalt over because, but because as a feel of Yom Yistakos, the day of the passing away, is this nit kind nice? It's not a new thing. Is in them nit azoi givaldik simcha. There's not such a great happiness. Why? What do you mean it's not the first time he passed away? Everybody passed away. It's the first time, isn't it? Says the Rebbe, no. VN, like for instance, in, in, I read this up. Oh, ho, ho, ho. In, Anaya inyan, a new thing. Vachakum no gor tsum ershtemo, a thing that happens the first time. Okay, what, what does this mean? A person passes away. It's the first time he passed away, right? So the first time a tzaddik passes away, when a tzaddik passes away, it's a happy day because it's the first time he passed away. So the Rebbe, not so clear, not so fast. Rov and Hashem is the majority of the souls from the Doris, from the people are what's called they're not new souls. They or if them they already were in the world. Uh, Judaism believes in reincarnation. The souls of people that are here, even the holy Jews that are here, they had been holy Jews. There's even books which tell the great Jews of later generations which souls they came from in the early, early generations. Now the Arizal writes as a book called Seder Adorot. The male, so therefore, is the simcha, the joy of a dechalia because of this elevation in Velchaz Event Nisala, which they go up in the time that they are, they pass away. Nitazoi grace is not so great. While it does come from far, far by, this shoin, nitzum ershtamo, because it's not the first time. In other words, most Sadiqim, let's say almost all of them, when they pass away, it's not the first time they passed away. Judaism, is, Judaism has been around for 3,300 years, and even from before that, but let's say 3,300 years, the people that went out of Egypt, and everyone 
that one out of Egypt, those are root souls for the souls that came the generations after. So there's some people that they've passed away already 10 times, 20 times. They went from one soul to another. How exactly this happens is very complicated. And there's a book which is called the uh, Shara Gilgulim, of, of the rollings of the souls from one level to the other. <clears throat> anyway, it's it's more complicated than what I can understand, but nevertheless, there is such a thing. V. Zion is showing a mall, Yavan Lamata, a soul that was already in the world, when Zion in this island that goes back up at the time that he passes away, Emes Taka is Yedder Mol every time, is an Aliyah, there's an, an elevation from the Neshama, is an Andra orphan. Every time the soul goes up every year at that time, it's in a different way than the previous year, because we elevate in holiness. But because is the clueless, the whole idea of the elevation of the soul of a person passing away the last day of his life is already was by this soul is the simcha. Therefore, the joy is not so great. The neshama from the altar rebbe, but the soul of the first rebbe of Chabad, Abar is given a neshama chadasha. It says it was a new soul. Paul Shem Tov said it was a new soul. Either the altar rebbe before the altar rebbe was born. Is not the neshama kain mol nitkaven of the velt. The soul of the first Rebbe of Chabad has never been in the world, had never been in the world before he was born, unlike all the other tzaddikim of the generation. Bemele, so therefore, is dach in their istalkos when the Alter Rebbe passed away from Alter Rebbe, from the first Rebbe of Chabad, Gaven, I feel Gresser Simcha was a much greater happiness. V in the Histalkos than the passing away of the Tzaddikim, which Baze uh, is Nitkaven their Inyan from Nishama Chadasha. There wasn't a new soul. While thus is Dach Gaven a Naya Inyan. It's a new thing. The Alter Rebbe, the first Rebbe of Chabad, when he passed away 210 years, that was the first time that that soul had ever passed away before. And what do we say before that the passing with the soul, that's the day when the sum total of his service and his life, it's all gathered and together, and it's also the completion of all of the service. And so this was other souls that happened before, but they had to come into the world for whatever reason it is. They had to return to the world. The first Rebbe of Chabad was not so. Like we said before, it returns every year the same thing that was the first time. Is yet the year every single year when it's kumt their tug when it comes to the day of Chaf Dalad Tevet, which is going to be this Monday night. Their yard site from the altar Rebbe, the day of passing away the altar Rebbe, is Meir, their shines in un vert and is and is and is. Nimshach drawn down the Zelba Simcha, the great happiness, which was the first time. Was his given and them your, which is the day year of his passing away, Tafshin Ayin Gimel, exactly 210 years ago. Okay, so again, let's just repeat this one, just two minutes. Death is not a good thing. Passing away is definitely not a good thing. But on the other hand, <clears throat> God made it after Adam ate from the tree. So, how long was the world in existence that there was no death? I don't know, three hours, four hours, something like that, until Adam ate from the tree. Uh, the, 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 I mean, Adam, how, how old was he when he ate from the tree? So he was, I don't know, what does it say, six years, six, six hours old or something like that? Anyway, he ate from the tree. <clears throat> he couldn't wait, and he brought death into the world. So the world basically has been suffering and has been experiencing death for all that time, 5,700 and... 83 years minus a few hours, it's been sovereign death. So death is a part of the world. So death also has something good to it. What's good to it? A person is put into the world in order to serve God. When a person passes away, the sum total of all the service that he's done is revealed. And it's revealed even in a higher way, an elevation. And this, therefore, becomes a, a day which is, <clears throat> is a good reason to rejoice. Like I said before, not on the day he passes away because he's left us, so we feel a big lacking. But nevertheless, okay, the first Rebbe of Chabad, though, has something unusual. By all the other people in the world that pass away, it's not the first time they passed away. And by the altar, the first Rebbe of Chabad is the first time a soul 
<clears throat> this first time that this soul was ever into the world, it was a pure soul, it was unblemished by the previous experiences that it had or whatever in the previous incarnations. And it was the first one that experienced an unusual soul that experienced passing away. So this was a, the highest level of passing away that it could possibly be. All the completion of all of his work was revealed on that day. Sufficiently in your name among the things which happiness does is oifaran in this happy, it says happiness, it, 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 it makes you more positive, it makes you, but also it says it breaks through all the limitations. Simcha nemtarap medita vagbala. Happiness, it says, you don't worry about the future. You're happy with life. Zolder Ebishter given, maybe may God give to us. As all of us have as shaykhas, any connection to the first review of Chabad, CD, was haben to him a ruchness, whether it's a spiritual connection, whether those people who actually do what the first Rebbe says, Chabad Hasidim, V Gayan and Zion Veg, which go in his way. See, but Maisa, whether in just doing deed, <clears throat> deed and speech, or thought, or even just one of these things, <clears throat> they teach the philosophy, the ideas of the Rebbe, or they talk about the Rebbe positive, or they do what the Rebbe, all three of them, or even one of them. Saidivas Shtemen from Zion Geza, or those people who are relatives of the first Rebbe of Chabad. Because it says the father gives merit to the son. A father is mezache zayin kind unkain unkain No difference who that son is, whether he is an observant Jew or a non-observant Jew or an anti-observant Jew. He's a relative of the Rebbe. Pala ben because the son is dach is er dach zolen by zay a rap genumen veren all medidas vakvalos because it's a son. So therefore, all of the normal limitations are gone, right? He's the son. You get. You want to go in to see some rich person, right? You have, you have to fill out forms. You have to who was who was it? He says, "Listen, I'm the, I'm his son." Oh, you get in immediately. There's no problem. Ezolzich nimshachzern should be drawn down. Vos zeidar from whatever they need, whether physically, whether spiritually, and hamshacha zolzayin kain menius without any <coughs> interference at all. Okay, so what's the Rebbe saying? The first Rebbe of Chabad passed away. All those people who are connected to him in any way whatsoever, may they receive all of these blessings that the first Rebbe brought down when he passed away. And because he was a new soul, it was the first time he passed away. So he, I want to say, expressed the ultimate goodness, whatever goodness there is, this ultimate goodness of all of your deeds of your life are bundled up all together on that last day. The altar Rebbe received this, and he passed it down to all those who are after him, which means that we have a tremendous inspiration and power and blessing to complete the work that they, the first Rebbe started, namely to reveal godliness in the world and bring, by means of bringing Mashiach soon. The Ebersters are given, may, may God uh, give to us. As Mizol Zayn Holchim Baruch that we should go in the ways of the first Rebbe of Chabad. And like we said before, in thought, in speech, in action, whether in day-to-day, -day, <clears throat> in, 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 in the, until the, the degree that even our day-to-day -day life, Tug Teklech 11, just day-to-day -day normal mundane things, and especially, learn, we should learn the Torah of Chassidut, was oiv dem, which on this, Hot Zich, their Alter Rebbe, the Alter Rebbe, Moser Nefesh, he, he's, he, how do you say, he's, sacrificed his time, his energy, his soul, and again, for, to teach these ideas about what God is and to teach how the Jewish people are special, different from everybody else. And we have an obligation to the whole world to rise up above the, the, the our normal desires and thoughts and speech and action and personalities and realize that the whole world depends on us. We have to be good examples to the whole world and to, that, that, that God cares and that the world is really a meaningful, blessed place and that every man is created in the image of God and to inspire every human being to reveal that. 
And this, especially on Chavdala Tevis, is a day to do it because the first Rav Yifchabad, he began this whole movement to in, in, educate the whole world. That's why Lubavitcher Rebbe said that the, all the Rebbe's of Chabad were the Mashiach. The first Rebbe of Chabad is no exception. And the power that we can, that was given to us to do that is especially on the day that he passed away because that's the sum total of all of his service. That we should do walk in his ways. <clears throat> if it's a happy day by others, so I think you for sure by the first Rabbi of Chabad, which is the first time he ever passed away, as utilizing this whole idea of the limits of this world to their ultimate and revealing Mashiach. Now, have a good day. See you tomorrow, God willing, at 8.15 in the morning. Hasidus class.